Hi, this is Martin for Revelation Software. Um, today we're going to be looking at my Arev32 demo. Uh, just recently I've had a few people asking about what the next steps are once they've done their Arev32 conversions and people that are um, exploring the move from Arev to Arev32 want to know, um, you know where they can go with the tool set. Um, I have a lot of discussion with people and they don't really understand. So this little demo application really um, highlights exactly what you can do in, in a visual way. So what I've got here is um, a very simple shortcut to my application. And in here I've just got uh, the route to my openinsight.exe, the name of the application, and I've just got a couple of switches in here to say don't run up the development ID and hide the engine. So when the user first um, executes the program, they get an MDI frame. I'm just going to OK to that message and I'm going to resize this window. That's a bit better. Um, this particular window is a straightforward Open Insight MDI frame with a few buttons and a menu on it. So all of the windows that we're going to run are going to run as child windows within this MDI frame. And I've got my OEngine server running. So what I could do is I could just go into here and I could run of 32 And this is going to run up the um, samples application. This is the area 312 samples application and the one that we've used in previous videos to show the conversion method um, to get from AREV to AREV32. Now from here what I can do is I can just run the application as I would normally um, just bringing up records moving around the screens as normal. Um, but what I can also do subject to the licensing now at the moment I'm using one license to run the Open Insight MDI frame and one license to run the of 32 window and that's not normally a problem when it comes to, to buying the licenses. But what I can do is I could turn around and say OK I want to be looking at this particular client but I also want to be looking at some product information. So in here I'll just look up a product return that one. So I can now be looking at two of my AREV windows at the same time, whereas previously you might have had to come out of the sample customers one and then go into the products one separately. And again, subject to the number of licenses that are available to me, I could open up a third window. Okay, I haven't got a, a table for that particular one for the invoices, but you get the idea. Now we can also get just a little bit more complicated than that if we want to. Remember, we're in the AREV32 environment, which is part of Open Insight. So what I could do is I could start to move my application to a graphical user interface. So here I've got uh, the ability to run a lookup and bring back a record. And this screen is mirroring the screen that we've got in the AREV system over here. Um, people often turn around to me and say, well, that's great, but you know, what about record locking? Well, if I bring back record number one, you'll see that the entry is locked to I want to view it because we've got it open in the area of 32. So the whole of the system is working together. Open Insight takes care of all the record locking for me, etc. Now, the other thing that's quite useful as well, if we just go back to the area of 32 window. For those of you that want to slowly migrate your system from this character based window to Open Insight, you no longer have to take the full jump. You've just seen how I can create the customer's window in the GUI and I can leave my AREV30 or my, my AREV users continuing to run the character window as they're used to. But new users could click on the um, customer's button and obviously use the GUI, which they might be use, more, more used to. Um, new users tend to pick up GUI windows better than character windows. But yeah, that's quite a, an, an, a discussion in itself. But what we can do here is if I was to do an F2 lookup, the F2 lookup on this window has been configured to call my new GUI pop-up because I've started to convert this to GUI. So what I can do is I can select, let's say, Manhattan Hospital, OK that, and then return that data back to the character window. So within this system, we've actually now got a character window calling a GUI interface writing back to a character and you know, one of the nice things about this is um, that if I do an F2 here I've got all of the power of Open Insight available to me 
So this is a pop-up that's been created using the interface workspace and so no coding required on my part. And I've also got the ability in here to run searches. So I could do a search for revelation, for instance, and I could do a find next. That'll find that, find next, no more. So we've just got the one. Um, and I've also got the ability to print that list to a printer as well if I want to. So you've got all of this new Windows functionality coming through. But remember that you can start to deploy these windows to your users. It'd be a bit alien initially to see character and GUI, but this is a really nice way of slowly testing your application as you roll it out, particularly if this is uh, used within a corporate environment. So grab record number eight, returns to the ARIA32 window, and then in here you can just use it in the normal way. So this is Open Insight 9.2, running a uh, MDI frame, which has got a few buttons, which are then calling my AREV32 windows and my Open Insight windows, um, what I regard as a, a hybrid application. Hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you again very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.